Hey, good morning, everyone. It is Monday morning, uh, January 18th, and I'm back in the saddle. I want to thank all of you for being so gracious to me about wanting to take some time off and just, ah, oh, hi, Kathy. And I, I want to say that my girlfriend, I got some really good girlfriends, said, because I said, I got to stay busy. I got to stay busy. And she, my girlfriend said, no, you need to sit with it. So I sat with it. And then gratefully, I was signed up for Craft Napa. And so I'm going to talk about that today, my classes and things I learned and the stuff I made. And um, that was a perfect diversion. Absolutely perfect. Hey, Sue. Sue sent me some uh, really great breakfast cookies. Thank you. And it benefits a really uh, a good cause. So I want to just say... I so many people have reached out to me and your kindness warms, warms my heart and it reminds me who we are as a community. So thank you so much. Carolyn, I'm on your thing after this podcast, okay? I'm working on it. I'm working on it, Carolyn. Uh, Carolyn emailed me. She ordered uh, uh, All Things Quilting and my 4-in-1 tool and I sent it out. And I took it to the post office. I couldn't jam it through the crack, so I, I had to come back and repackage it. And then I took it out to work, because out at work, uh, USPS picks up, and it seems to be lost. I haven't been, had time to track it yet, but I will say for everybody out there, if you are mailing things, whether USPS, um, UPS, FedEx, it's just pretty screwed up right now. So we just have to live with it. And I mean, when they were saying they were getting all the vaccines here and there, et cetera, I thought, where are these UPS and FedEx trucks coming from? Heaven? I mean, so anyways, I'm sorry about it. I uh, I did get it out in a timely fashion. I held up my end of the stick, which I will tell you, Carolyn, is not always the case, all right? So I want to talk a, about Craft Napa. It, well, it's still going on now. It was, in, in real life, it is always, I think, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday with a kickoff reception Wednesday night. And some classes filled so fast that Pokey's doing an encore, and those are going on today or tomorrow. And, I mean, it has been a roaring success. And I will, I'm going to share with you what I took and some lessons I learned from each class, okay? But, but the first thing I want you to know is that I loved, loved being at home. I have taught a couple classes online now, and that's beside my lectures, besides my lecture. Um, and I, you know, you're sitting there from the teacher's point of view, and you're sitting there, and you don't know the true experience of the other end. And I have to tell you, I loved everything about being home. Everything. I felt, I remember when I taught the first class, somebody said, oh, it's so intimate. And I thought, what are they talking about? It was so intimate. And everybody had a front row seat. So that was super cool. I'm gonna tell you some things that I discovered in the class besides quilting. On the last day with Libby Williamson, I thought, gosh, because we were doing faces, okay? I thought, I wonder if I plug in my InSwan, if I can just toggle over on um, on, this, on the Zoom, on the bottom left-hand corner, hit it down and carrot, and I could pick this camera. And so Libby could see what I was doing on my desktop. And it was fabulous because other people were like having to take pictures of their faces and hold it up to the camera and uh, uh, look at it that way. If you seriously get into online classes, you might consider this InSwan. It's about a hundred bucks on Amazon. And Kelly, who works at Wooden Gates, I told her to get one because they're teaching classes at Wooden Gate. And her husband uh, got her another one for Christmas, another brand, and it worked just Fine. So that was an absolute pleasant surprise. The other thing I want to talk about are aches and pains. <laughs> I don't know about you, but when I'm sitting for a long time or I'm in a class, 
this part of my body, right? Oh my gosh, I can feel it right now. Oh, it hurts. Uh, gets big fat knots in it. And so it's like if you go to a massage person, you're like, ah, when they're working on you to get rid of it. Hey, Barb. But, but I'll show you the three things I did because it started to fire up on me. Okay, the first thing is this is equal to a tennis ball. And you can rub the parts on your bum that hurts. And it hurts, guys. Then John told me to wear... This is, this is behind the scenes. This is like wearing Spanx when you're taking a class, okay? I John gave me his athletic belt and I wrapped it really tight around my torso down in that area and that made me sit up straight. But here's, here's the ticket. Here is the secret weapon. And uh, how many of you all have this happen where you're just like, oh my gosh, right? So... What happened was when I went away with Joan and Dara to one of our summer things, um, my back started hurting down there and it was from sitting too long. And so Joan said, are you, will you let me see your behind? And I said, sure, I don't care if you see my behind. And she had been going to an Eastern medicine person and she put this stuff on me it's chiroderm. It's a heat. It would be like a hot and cold packy, you know, only this stuff is really strong. And then the other thing that you get is this jade tool and you put it on your affected area at all costs. Keep your hands off this because if you go and get this in your eye, it burns like a craziness. Okay. I got this on Amazon chiroderm and then what you do let's pretend this is the affected area okay you put this slop on and then you using your jade tool you scrape down very slowly very slowly and you just keep doing it you keep doing it and what's going to happen is the area that's giving you problems is going to start turning red it's really interesting stuff okay and I hold no responsibility on anything. I'm just telling you what I do. You can do what you want, okay? Because, I mean, I'm not a doctor. I'm not a anything, but this got me through Craft Napa. And so then the crazy thing is that it will, you will feel the, you will feel the heat, all right? Uh, and again, you do not want it, your hand to touch this. This morning, I think I just picked up the jade tool, rubbed my eye, and it was like, but uh, then when I got in the shower at night, it would reactivate. So it burns. I want you to know that, but it works. So between this thing and John's belt, it was fabulous. Okay, what's John coming in? No, no, it was for like... Oh, pattern for the bird. Oh, yeah. So where you get this, it's dirt cheap. It's on Amazon. It's Cairo, C-R-Y-O-D-E-R-M, heat. And one of the things is when you're using a jade tool is you always, like, you always, bless my arm, you go away from your heart. You go away from your heart and you keep this at a 45 degree air, uh, 45 degree angle. Go away from your heart. All right. Again, I, I uh, have no liability or responsibility for anything. I'm just telling you what I did and it worked for me. So, okay, um, let's take a, so, okay, that was my aches and pains. Um, birdhouse quilt, I'll talk about that later. So, Pokey really, we're back to Craft Napa, kept it as a super boutique experience. And it is just, so there were only 20 people in each class. And, you know, I really feel that technology-wise, it was amazing what she pulled off. And you could imagine a smile on her face when her electrical went down for two days or her pg e or whatever, or internet. So she was able to go through that. There were a lot of women and men, well, in my class it was all women, um, who this was new stuff to them, this whole Zoom stuff. And teachers had different challenges, but it's like we're pioneering a new way of learning. And it's fabulous. So one thing she did, and why I didn't take part of it is beyond my comprehension, 
And she actually even had a virtual wine tasting uh, where they even had experts from a local vintner coming in. They, uh, in talking about it, she even had it so that um, if you were going to do the wine tasting, she shipped you the wine that you'd be learning about. I mean, how awesome is that? And then another thing she did was at lunches, uh, she would have speakers and stuff like that. So you could buy that if you wanted to. Um, I chose not to, and I don't know why, but I will tell you, I know for myself, three days was kind of it. I mean, it is, it is exhilarating. It is exciting. Um, but you are, you're learning. And it was so great to have this diversion, um, in my life. And I learned a lot too. I also said to John, I, I, I really gave him stern warning, like he really needed to leave me alone, like really, so I could immerse myself, and he gets an A-plus for that. I didn't want to hear about anything but being able to fully concentrate. And one of, uh, one of the neat things is that because you're home, you have access to all your stuff, which is really a big deal, you guys. Okay, so this is what my space looked like when I was in Joanne's class. And again, I'm going to show you what I made. And then and then in Jenny Lyons' class, it gave me the opportunity to play on my Q20. And I did something really dumb, <laughs> really dumb. And this is on a personal note. I'll show you what we learned in the class in a moment. Is I sat down on my Q20 and I and I dumped the tension on top. I lowered it. And, it, and I should have tested it. I'm smarter than that. I know that. The top of the little sample looks great, but the back is horrible. And that was completely my fault, my bad. But let me tell you, that was a lesson for down the road. But the other thing, if you have a Q20, I want to show you a really cool feature. Um, I wish I should have drawn an arrow to it. If you look to the upper right hand area of this image, in that blue screen, look at the blue screen, in the bottom center, you see a foot and a heel, a foot, a foot and a presser foot, not presser foot, gas, whatever the gas, foot pedal. And then on the right, right next to it, you see a knot function. You have three different choices how to program that presser, I mean, I'm sorry, that foot pedal. And if you haven't tried the knot function, I really recommend you try it. It is not like the knot function on your domestic Bernina. And again, this, these are the machines I know. But what happens is, is if you hit the skinny part of the foot pedal, like how that little foot is showing you there, two things happen at once. And it's the two things you want to have happen at once. It's like the needle comes up and the foot presser, the presser foot comes up. So the other two options, you can choose between one or the other, but on this, that's what I use, and I absolutely love it, okay? And then, if I thought I made a mess, when I took Libby's class, it kind of just exploded, and that's before the, the bomb really came in. <laughs> so, I would like to show you what I made. Every single class, I came out with a finished product and, well, almost finished. And I, I don't take classes with that intention. I take classes with the intention of um, doing things and then seeing how it fits in my wheelhouse, you know? So let's start with Joanne's. And what we did, and I believe she's here too, so if you have any questions, now's your chance to ask Joanne. Oh good, I can itch my nose right now. So hers was called like Little Itty Bits or something like that. And sorry, Joanne, tell me the real name. And in this particular class, we made these little itty bitty journals that, that we, we first painted pages and then we started putting pages together. And so, like this was from an older piece of mine of Joanne's. So when you take a class from Joanne's, you never throw anything out ever. And then here's the next spread. And what I have to do now is I have to go in 
and put in words. She gave us a list of real of really great affirmations that we could put in and or get in there and just do some doodling with my ink pen or my Posca pens. This one I kept like a little pocket that I can put something in. This is so precious to me, I can hardly stand it, all right? Completely precious. And she's such a good teacher because, you know, also she was a teacher, so she gets it. My granddaughter looked at this and went, oh, it, or Bubby, it looks like the ocean and the beach. So that was maybe a prompt on how I want to do it. I'll get my Posca pins on this one. And, and really, it's a junk journal in as much as you just put more and more and more stuff in it. Like, I could glue stuff in here. Also, you can continue to add you, by just adding in more pages. And it's funny because I showed, look at that, uh-oh. That's because I closed it too fast on that. And Joanne said, eh, just go put something on top. Now, the thing is, you guys, Joanne does do these classes online. Let me get back to this camera. She does, she does do these classes online. And what I would do is I would go to her website, joannesharp.com, at a minimum, get on her mailing list. I am in a bunch of her little classes. I'm also in her year-long class. But this was a, a completely different experience because it was all live and we could commune as a community. So that was really, really cool. Um, again, joannesharp.com, get on her mailing list. And so then the next class I took was Jenny Lyon. And in Jenny's class, it was about doodling, all right? And Jenny gave us, well, let me show you my little sample. There we go. There we go. Gave us, oh, I wanted to get this up higher. And now I gotta get, got too much stuff here. I'm in very tight boundaries. So you can see here that what she had us do was draw, um, with a black belt tip pen, I ended up going back with uh, thread and outlining it, and then dividing up the backgrounds and learning different doodads. And I had to laugh because when we got, what, let me say this, this is so fabulous, I can't stand it. So she gave us these really great handouts, and they're, you know, how to do these different things, um, I like some things better than the others, honestly. Uh, I love the random box a lot. But then she got to something called Margot's Border. And I'm like, hmm, what's that? It's Margot Claybo's Border. So Margot, you are a famous one, an absolute famous one. And I will show you, it's not as good as Margot's work. But Margot, this is what I did down here. Now, I would like to mention that this is the purple disappearing ink pen, and this class was on Friday, and today's, because people asked, how long does this stay on, uh, the Quilters Select Purple Pen? Today's Monday, I did this Friday, and there's still reminiscence of it. Now, I can get rid of it by putting water on it, and or, I'll show you this, or using the erase end, I hope this is a juicy pen. Oh, I don't think this pen is that juicy. Yeah, it's going away a little bit. And then that helps erase too. So this is the uh, Quilter Select Self Erase Marker. Um, so yeah, there's still some in my feathers. The, the ones I fell in love with were, of course, Margo's. So it's, it's a lot of work, Margo. Props, baby. And then I loved this uh, random one. And actually, the, the quilt of Freddy's that I own, that's how Jean Impey did it. And then I liked this one, too. And I think that's interesting because, I mean, I've always loved feathers, but this stuff didn't really do it for me. This Jenny loves this. This is really super um, exciting, but I just really think I am... Um, loving just straight lines but and, and how do you push it and I have Jackie Gearing's straight line um walk that's the name of the book walk and I think I can look at it with much more appreciation now the other thing 
it one of the things that Jenny talked about is when she goes to a show and she sees a pattern she will sit there on a new quilt because once you start doing this step you're going to become a quilt detective quilting detective you'll go to places and go wow how did that person do that and she'll sit there and she said and literally with her finger go up and to the quilt and draw it and try and get the rhythm the other thing that was it Mary Kay or somebody in the class said which was really good is that if you don't know how to do it or it feels weird to you yeah those are my drawings They're pretty good uh, you could this one I had a hard time with okay but I could put clear paper on this and then just start doing it and getting the rhythm of the whole thing so these handouts uh, were better than better okay they were great so then the last class I took I was so stupid with that tension. I, I'm just looking at it now, getting mad at myself. You always check your tension, especially when you're working on one of those big machines. Okay, you guys know that I love my portraits. I uh, I just taught this to see me, uh, not, not see me, Valley, um, Southern San Bernardino Guild. And this was the latest face quilt I did. And this was before Libby's class. Libby brings a sophistication to her faces that are just incredible. What you looking for, buddy? Oh, he says it's too messy in here. <laughs> well, why don't you come when everybody's gone and clean up? That's what I really want. <laughs> and so, so this was the one that uh, I actually did for the website too, but this is super fun to teach with guilds and all that. But the one, this is what just Libby... Thank you so much. Here is my girl. All right. This is the next level of faces. And so this isn't even as ornate as hers, but I, she said, you want to name the person. And so actually I'm naming this one Samantha and I'm not done with her at all, but she's Samantha, my daughter's best friend, her bestie. And Samantha, when I knew it had to be Samantha, was that she got a turquoise Vespa that my dad was so jealous of, he couldn't stand it. So I, I found that I had this in my, in my stash, so I put that on. And then she's so much to play with, and I found she's so much fun to play and hang out with, that I found these jacks, and that represents that. And she's also a phenomenal phenomenal baker so that goes in there um I, I just love this now the big question is Libby has you uh, put a border on okay so I started with the orange and it seemed a little too intense and once you put your border on then you can put stuff in here add even more and extend it and this is a fabric line of mine and I I, I liked it but then you know, our block of the month with Marsha Durs, I found this stuff. And I'd be curious what you guys think, which you like the best. John, someone's at the door. Um, I'm, I'm kind of starting leaning towards this Marsha Durs stuff if it's just not too much. I don't know. I got to, again, I have to sit with it. All right. Anyways, Libby, well, all the teachers that I took are very, very giving teachers they are um excellent at their craft uh one of them had a little trouble with her technology but guess what we're all we're all in that we're all in that boat so let's talk about what's happening now uh tomorrow we are going to start the birdhouse quilt i uh, instruction we're going to start with the background tomorrow all right so i'm going to talk about how i pieced it how um, I dealt with the pinwheels. I did use the star singles, but you don't have to. And we'll get that going, all right? That's tomorrow on Tuesday, all right? And it will be up soon. I, I kind of ha had some unexpected twists and turns um, these last couple weeks. And so it's, it, it's in the final stages. I sent it to Kristen and I want to discuss one thing with her before we put it up, but it will be under projects, I think. 
projects. Mary Kay, I hope you're there. And then we can print it out. Uh, it's really the shapes of the birdhouses and all that are very simple. I have run into some trauma with this birdhouse quilt. So I am remaking some of the daisies. I wish I were farther along, but when you're taking out stitching, that takes some time. I can't live with it. It's funny. It's funny. I'm not going to tell you what it is because it's so stupid. I was trying a new technique. It's so stupid what I did. And it didn't work. And then I did some other stupid things. So, so I'm having to backpedal. But we will start tomorrow, all right? And then on Friday, we'll get into it. And what I beg of you, you guys, I, 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 I have overachievers in here, and I know exactly who you are. Don't just jam through it. I'm going to show you so many, so many different ways to approach applique. And it was interesting because how I'm ending up doing the daisies is not how I would recommend the birdhouses. Okay, so, and we're going to start with finished applique. And then we're going to go into um, raw edge applique. And so, you know, if, you, if applique is the A word, get over it because it, um, it just means you haven't found the shoes that fit you correctly. So that's who always rings my doorbell at the most inopportunist time. I know. Uh, hopefully John got it. Oh, I want to show you a quilt that actually inspired this. Do you want to see that quilt? Let's see. This was a quilt that was in the Quilt Life magazine. And, oh, I think we just got a package delivered. Oh, that's that's like Santa Claus. And it was um, inspired by some mailboxes, uh, a mailbox in Door County, Wisconsin. And so this is it. Oops, that's upside down. There's like this one mailbox that is so groovy, you can't stand it. And... The reason I decided to do it over as birdhouses is because, I don't know, I just had a ball. <laughs> so, you know, maybe we can put up the mailbox patterns too, but that won't be right away. We've got too much on our plate right now. Um, da, da, da. Oh, yeah, that's what I wanted to show you. So I think the birdhouse thing came because of my neighbor. My neighbor's always out in his front yard making birdhouses, and this is their front porch. Is that not a kick in the pants? And, and if you see, um, let me see which birdhouse. This birdhouse here, the one with my finger on it, inspired one of the birdhouses in, in the quilt. Okay, so... I'm 99.999% sure that next Monday we're transferring to the new website. And what that means to you is this. There, the website as you know it will be bye-bye, okay? John has put together a temporary website that is going to have a couple shows on it. I believe you can go there and get whatever you need. It just doesn't have the depth of the first website. It will take several days to get it to the, it's, we're turning the Titanic, okay? And it was so funny because whenever we get people to work on our site, they're like, oh yeah, it's just quilting. Yeah, whatever. And then they're like going, oh, wow, we had no idea, okay? No idea. And so, and so it's going to take several days to turn it again. You've got the in-between site that you can go to. Then you'll have the new site. And why do you care about the new site? The searchability is so much easier. The functionality is so much easier. But with anything, I am absolutely 100% confident there's going to be issues. And there just is. It's technology. And so as we transfer into the new website, I ask for kindness. I ask for patience. We've been working on this a really long time. Mary Kay and her son Lucas have almost let blood doing this for us, all right? So, you know, we we know, we think we know, we think the big issues have all been solved, all right? But if you have something that's an issue, just don't get all freaked out and panicked. Just get hold of us, and, and we want to know so we can fix it, right? And so, 
don't forget to the thumbs up. I don't know what that is, but um, John wanted me to say this. The price of the website for a year is $39.95 or something like that. When we go to the new site, it's going to be $49.95. And actually, that is even a screaming bargain as it is. But if you've been putting it off. Another question somebody asked me was this. They said um, they want the BOM color my world. Oh, gee. Um, we are getting new kits in March. So yay for that. Um, they wanted, somebody just wanted to buy the pattern now. And that is simply not possible. I didn't realize that's what she was asking, but no, you have to go through the year and then I can guarantee you when the year's over, it's cheaper going through us. We essentially lease or rent, John's in here, we rent, what's it called? License. We license it for a year. And no, you have to wait, sorry, unless you want to be Barbara Black, Black and head the whole ship. <laughs> I don't think you want that. So the quilt show, will the forum be revamped? John, come here. <laughs> you hit on, you hit on the, you hit, come here. You shaved. <laughs> Uh, uh, this person wants to know if the forum will be revamped. Um, it's going to be very similar to what is there now. It's going to be a little easier to put pictures up and uh, get to the subject you want, but it's going to be very similar. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> but but now, but the Mary Kay, if you go and look at the forum right now, what Mary Kay has done is really cool. So the way she's done it. Um, are you going to be able to, if, if, if somebody says, here is my hat. Do you like it? Are you going to be able to answer right under that? Yes. Oh, that's huge. Yeah, you can answer on a particular that's huge. statement. You don't have to go to the bottom of the list to answer somebody on top. Will it be easier to thread? Yes, that's what he's just saying. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, that that's huge. Okay. And you guys have really taken advantage of the forum, and that makes me very, very happy. Um, yay! I say that too. Yay! So... Again, be kind. Um, we can only light a candle and pray, okay? <laughs> These guys have worked so hard. So, um, okay, guys, uh, have a great day. I'll see you tomorrow morning. We'll get going on the background. And um, I think we have 17 kits left or something like that if you're interested. If not, go dig out your stash and run for your money. If you don't wanna do solids, I would go and choose fabrics that kind of are tone on tone so that you can see the birdhouses, you can see the flowers. And also if you wanna add more things to your uh, birdhouse quilt, go Google images. And uh, I promised I would do a, a dragonfly and that I just broke that, my pants were on fire. Smoke was coming out, okay? So, all right, you guys. Um, yeah, Carmen says technology always has its glitches, yeah. Uh, so what time in the morning? Same as today, Vicki, uh, 10 o'clock Pacific time, 10 o'clock Pacific. And then I want to see the inauguration on Wednesday and then Friday we'll kick in with starting with the different applique ways. So I just want to say, I so appreciate you guys, your support and love and outpouring has meant a lot to me. And thanks for letting me have the time off. I, I didn't, I thought I'd be fine because I was fine after my dad and I was fine after my dad because I had to laser focus on my mom. Um, and there was a little bit of bumping into walls and I, I, it's my understanding that's gonna go on for a while. So women and a man, if you're a woman and man, <laughs> we gotta stick together and support each other and carry on, right? So, all right guys, have a good one and I'm saying bye-bye.